Hello, hello, Krillik here, back in action. Some more Direwolf for you guys. How fun is that? Um, I got a couple things prepared. Uh, one of the things we have to make right away, though, I'm going to take a little bit of fused quartz with the solarium, and I'm going to get a soul vial. Now, you might be asking, why a soul vial? Krillik, good sir, why do you need another soul vial? Well, I'll tell you why. We're going into bat form. I found something, and uh, so I was on the hunt for an emerald, okay? I did find one emerald. <laughs> Yay, go me. Because uh, most of the good stuff with Ender IO and whatnot require an emerald. So um, I went on a hunt. Uh, I went flying. So I went kind of over by the snow that we found the other day when doing up the Ender Quarry here. Um, and I think I saw, if I can't remember if in the video if I showed it or not, but I saw an Extreme Hills uh, just to the south while I was building my fence thing. Uh, so it might not have been recorded. But there was an Extreme Hills over there. And I dug down and I made a little mine and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it should be popping into view any second now. There it is. Yeah. So I went into there. And I dug down and in and underneath and all that kind of stuff to find an emerald. Okay? My god, that was a lot of work for one emerald. That's all that I have to say about that, okay? But, then I was kind of flying around. Oh, there's iron right there. Hmm. Might have to grab that. Uh, then I was just flying back out like this. And I was checking out this meteor over here. And... I mean, which is really cool, by the way. And check this out. It goes into a ravine. How sweet is that? Uh, but just north of it, if I can find it here, I believe there is something that I want. There's something that I want very much. And we have a village. What? Are you a witch? Yep. You're a witch. Uh, there's a village right here. Um, so that is amazing, first of all. Um, so I figured, you know what? Let's come on over here to start the episode. And, any zombies? No. Um, so let's come on over here and check it out and see if we what we can't raid from this place as well. There's Hobgoblin apparently. All right. All right. Uh, there's never anything in these furnaces. I really wish there was. Uh, let's see what we get. Oh. Oh, very nice. Some diamonds. Excellent. Thaumium. I'll always, redstone alloy and more iron. I will take all of that. I'm not sure. I wonder if I can melt this down again. I don't think I can. I know I can this. What? Yeah, I can melt down that for more iron, so I'll take that with me too. But, I also want to capture a villager in the soul vial. There they are. Yeah, you. Can I not capture them? Can I not capture them? Right click on a mob. No, it might just be a mob. That's okay. Ooh, fir wood. Big old tree sticking out of there. Uh, that's okay. Not a big deal. But I'm really happy that we have this so that we can actually get some more emeralds and stuff because finding them was a pain in the butt. So this guy here, some raw chicken. Uh, not really exactly what I'm looking for. Look at all this frozen stuff. Good times. Let's see if we can find somebody. Uh, maybe with a more beneficial trade. There's a guy here. Uh, you're chicken too, hey? Eh? What the? Dude, you got a fro! <laughs> uh, <evey. laughs> That's all I can say. But, you know, maybe there's, uh, maybe there's a good trade here somewhere. Uh, you are clay, really? Okay. Um... Can you guys stop fighting, please? Okay, what else is there? Um, we have the cactus. Oh, we have this guy. 
Okay. Uh, we'll break that. And eh, nothing really all that great. I'll take the cauldron, though. Should I take the cactus? You know what? I should take the cactus. I don't think I have any. That'll be nice. Uh, for stripping or whatever. Uh, we could steal the smeltery stuff. This is a big village. Holy cow. Um, okay, let's check out the bee guy. We got larch. A grafter. I'll steal that for sure. Um, not going to worry about the dyed candles or any of that. What do we have in here? Wintry bees. Okay. Might be useful down the road. Um, man, this thing just keeps on going. What do you... What, 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 uh, nothing really in there. Okay, well, I was kind of hoping I could capture one and breed them, but I might need to get, uh, a safari net for that, which is going to require a bit more resources than what I just made. Um, where's the door? Is the door... What? 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 That is cool. Uh, what do you got? Wool? And cooked fish. Okay. Alright, so that's kind of fun. We've kind of explored this village a little bit. I'm probably going to steal that Tinker's setup at some point in time here. I'm kind of just looking to see if there's anything else uh, worthwhile. Oh, Miscraft guy. Frugal. Really? Oh, are you Thumbcraft guy? You're Thumbcraft guy. But this is a Miscraft setup. Uh, Desert Hills Biome. I'll probably come back and steal all of this, too. Um, that seems beneficial. Oh, and here's the Tinker's guy. I wonder where the door is. There it is. Oh, you're free, buddy. You're free. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, dear. It's dark in here. Oh, my. Look at... Oh, yeah. Full guard. That's the one we need. Beautiful. Uh, is there anything worthwhile out of here? I don't think so. There never usually is, but I, for some reason, always check. Okay. Pretty, pretty stellar, I would say, getting over to this village. Um, let's fly on home. Uh, I wanted to show you guys that. I kind of did a little bit of a travel job. Oh, dear. Fly, I say. Fly. Um, but really nice. A huge winter biome. Um, let me see if I can't show you it here. Look at this thing. So I kind of flew around in a circle uh, from the mountain I dug into. And this thing is massive. It's crazy. It's almost like I got large biomes on. Absolutely madness. So I'm going to head back to base here. And I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we're back home here. Um, let's just put the vial away and some of the loot that we got. Uh, the cauldron I'll save, the flower pot, the cactus. You know what? Let's just plant the cactus. Why not? Get that thing growing. Um, what else? We got a whole bunch of loot. Um, we got some diamonds. Uh, we got some more thomium, which is great. Much needed. Uh, where did I get the water shards from? Is any oh, I needed those. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, we'll do a new quick snapshot update. All right, let's go get another shard. Uh, for the most part, the system is working really well. I wanted to show you guys one change that I made, though. I was getting some ores in the chest upstairs that were configured. Uh, so what I did is I basically removed... All, uh, you know, I removed the item conduits from connecting to this, and instead I put them all in this chest to act as a buffer. So we got buffer after buffer. It works really well, actually. I think that this system right here, kind of a chest, sag mill, chest, alloy smelter, chest like that, is really, really efficient because if the sag mill gets backed up, you're good to go. And if the, I mean, I guess you get some stone out of it too, which is okay in my books, actually. I forgot about that byproduct, but it's fine. Stone is a good thing to have. 
Um, and you're not getting a ton of it. Actually, I'm really happy about that because we have way too much cobble as it is. Uh, so very happy about that as well. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I've kind of just been filling things in as we go. Anything that I feel needs or warrants its spot. Um, all this biome's a plenty stuff. I don't know. This stuff is... Ugh. I hate that stuff. Alrighty, so... Um, I While we're waiting, I'm kind of waiting for the ender quarry to find some more loot and stuff like that. I'm just trying to delay a little bit. I AFK'd for about two hours. It's kind of slow. I'm not going to lie. We might want to do some upgrades on it, but we'll see how that goes. There's lots of other things that we can do in this pack in the meantime, though. And one of them is what I have in my inventory here. Um, so you'll notice that we are in Thomcraft, okay? This is something that I want to do, all right? Uh, we'll get into a little bit of Thomcraft. So just make ourselves an iron cap like so. And a quick little wand. Our first wand, everybody. Place down the bookshelf. Boom! Thaumanamanamakon. Perfect. Uh, now in here, we can do all the research and stuff like that. Pretty much all of the research I'm going to do off camera in my own time. Um, unless there's something that you guys truly want to see or anything like that. Um, might be a good idea. I don't know. But one of the first things that you need to make for it is this guy right here. So just a couple shards, some gold, and some glass. I threw my gold away, didn't I? I did, I did. All right. Actually, let's uh, put this full guard pattern away, too. Ooh, yeah. And the grafter. Forgot I even had that guy. And those. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves uh, the thermometer awesome and basically you can scan stuff I can't scan that I can scan that though and dirt yeah cactus no grass no seeds no so there is a system on how you can do this stuff I'm pretty sure wood is quite advanced up I'm trying to remember it's actually been a while since I did it um, no, I can't do metal. Um, it's been a while since I did Thomcraft in general. Um, so I'm going to have to remember exactly what else I can do. I think I might be able to do cobble. And you can just throw it on the ground like that and give it a scan. Yeah, okay. But that's basically the same as the other one. Okay. I'll have to remember what all I do for this. I'm trying my best to recall, but having a hard time um, off the top of my head. So I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to do some scanning and all that kind of stuff. Get our research points up a little bit, and then we'll be back to set up a magic island. Alrighty, so I'm back here. I've scanned a decent amount of items, but we still are missing a couple here. Uh, one of the things that we need is a couple of these tables from Thomcraft. And I actually need one more as well. Usually I make three. Um, the other thing that we can take is our cauldron. Uh, funny how I grabbed that, hey? Makes sense now, doesn't it? All right, so let's head on over. I want to find a place for my magic island, okay? Um, what? Do I not have any netherrack? What? Oh, there it is. Okay. Whew! I was a little worried there, guys. All right, so what I'm thinking is, uh, we'll fly on over there for right now, but I'm thinking right over yonder this island right here I kind of cleared it out a little bit but maybe this is a great spot kind of for the uh, for the magic island maybe we combine these two um, now we could also do like blood magic and stuff too but not right off the get-go because I just finished doing that so we'll do that um, we need to make this go down place in a nether rack uh, and we need our wand, right? 
Boom. Okay, that one's done. Excellent. The other thing that we need... Now, this works as a standard uh, workbench and all that kind of stuff. We need a feather, a glass bottle, and some black dye. Okay, that one might be a little tougher. But anyways, let's light this on fire. And let's place down our cauldron. Let's grab our same wand and give that a click. And it turns into a crucible. Awesome. The fire is going to be a little annoying. Don't get me wrong. But that's okay. We will survive. Good thing I have an excellent source of black dye. Am I right? Am I right? Look at all these squids. Ooh, this one's got a hat. Let's kill him first. Get wrecked. We got so much black dye, it's not even funny. Um, I could even pretend to be a squid, infiltrate their ranks, and kill their leader. That's right. That's right. I can become King Squid of Krillic Isle. You heard it here first, folks. So if you see a mutiny of squids, you'll know why. You'll know why. All right, I don't know if I have any feathers. Aha, I do. Excellent. You know what else we might do? Let's just grab a couple of these. Uh, let's actually take this guy as well. I'm just going to take a crafting station over there with us. I'm going to, yeah, set everything up. I think that's a good idea. All right, we'll head on over. I've gotten so much research, guys. You have no ideas. It's great. I love it. Okay, let's get this guy ready. Um, probably just gonna, yeah, throw it in the ground. I kind of like that these can go in the ground. So we'll set up a little bit of a chest situation over here. Uh, maybe right there and right there. Oh, God, that low view. Oh, it's terrible. Terrible. Okay, let's get out a water bucket. What? Water bucket, please. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll fill up the crucible. Like so. Excellent. Okay, so we need... Oh, dang it. I forgot a glass bottle, didn't I? Dang it. Well, I'll be right back. Back in a flash, too. Holy cow. All right, that with some ink gives us some scribing tools. And you just click on it like that, and we now have ourselves a research table. Beautiful. So now you can see everything that you scanned, all that kind of stuff. But the other thing that we can do is we can combine resources and whatnot. So I can combine, for example, Aqua and Terra to find and discover Victus. Uh, that is one of the hurdles. Uh, that is a bit of a pain in the butt, if I do say so myself. Uh, do you work? You do work. Herba! Uh, that's not what I wanted. It's okay. It's okay, guys. But we can scan grass blocks now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do some more scanning, and then we'll come back to our Thumbcraft stuff yet again. Alrighty, so I'm just heading back over to the island here. Creeper Island. Get that? One creeper stands alone. Wilson! Uh, but one of the next ones that I need is we need to combine Victus and Perdito. That'll give us Mortis. All the things. All the us's and all the things. I know Thomcraft seems really confusing, guys. Trust me. I know. But all you do is you run around and you scan stuff. Oh, dear. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Uh, soul sand is next. Bingo. Excellent. Um, what's after that? Paper, I think. I got, I got a whole bunch of things here. Get that cognito going. Uh, some rotten flesh. Yeah, I know. It actually has a use, guys. Uh, some wool. I guess that works. Oh. What? Really? Oh, uh, that's why. Uh, let's do the flint and steel. Aha. Uh -huh. Now the wool. Beautiful. Getting all the things. Um, an apple. We can finally scan our apple, guys. Look at that. I tell ya. 
Uh, one of the other ones that's pretty... It's not that hard to get. Uh, usually by this point in time, you should have these guys around. Um, but it's not too, too bad. Uh, quick little grab of milk from the cows. Like so. Excellent. And that'll give you Sano. Actually, you get quite a few things from that. What? Oh my god, you can place milk? What? What? Anyways. Um, did it give him an effect? I swear it did. Anyways, um, that's most of the stuff. Uh, so at this point in time, we should be able to scan almost everything in the game. Um, yeah, can get that now. Can get that now. Can get that now. All the things. Oh dear, yes. Uh, let's scan our wand. Basically, you just want to run around and scan everything that you know how to scan. Um, torches are good. Very good to start out with. And actually, I should actually place some down on this island. Protect it from the evildoers. There we go. That should work for now. Nice big old dark spot in the middle. But I think that's going to be about it for us, guys. I'm going to cruise on back over. We're going to get a whole bunch more stuff. Um, I think we can also scan gold now, if I'm not mistaken. Diamonds, all that kind of stuff. Um, alien stuff. Like that. Gold chests, like that. Awesome. Just great stuff. I've kind of blazed through this. It hasn't taken very long at all. I think it's a good idea to do so. I'll probably fly over and scan up some snow as well. Um, usually pretty good. I'll need those with me. Uh, these guys can go up in there. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be uh, scanning a whole bunch of stuff, basically. A whole bunch of stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, end stone. Oh yeah, got end stone. Enchantment table. That's right. All the things. So I'm going to run around. I'm going to scan basically everything that I can in the game. And we'll start out. Uh, we'll see where we're at with the Ender Quarry and where we're going to go from there. We have a pretty nice system already. I mean, I can stack these barrels as high as I want. Get more chests for anything that I don't. Um, and we should be pretty good to go. So I think... Maybe we'll do a little bit more into this and a couple other things all at the same time. Have a couple multiple projects going on at once. Uh, that might be a good idea. So thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you leave a like. You guys were amazing last month with the likes. I'd love to keep that going and keep seeing that as well. Uh, thanks again, everybody. Have yourselves a great one.